Welcome to Southern California. We have much to offer scuba divers. We have many miles of shoreline with lots of good accessibility for beach diving. In spring you may be greeted by a friendly harbor seal or a moray eel or even three. A thorough inspection of the yellow sponge reveals the shelled nudibranch. In summer, the tiny Hopkins rose can be found in great numbers. Some nudibranchs like to fight, while others prefer to make love. During the autumn equinox, the wavy top snail can be seen spawning, as well as the parchment worms. But for a real love fest, the winter squid orgy is hard to beat. Southern California has many piers. They offer many unusual critters in a small, arduous habitat. Like the shy pipefish and the juvenile kelpfish. Fall months are the sarcastic fringe heads, time to establish territories. The octopus struts around and tries to hide from the video lights. Crabs enjoy the bounty of the filleted carcasses discarded by the fishermen above. Late fall and early winter offer the best visibility, but be wary of fishing lines. Southern California has many wrecks for divers such as the 366-foot Yukon sunk in the year 2000. She's becoming covered in large white matridiums. The 165-foot Ruby E was sunk in 1989. She is entirely covered in strawberry anemones of various shades of red, making her appear as an underwater rose parade float. Her decks are a garden of sea fans, which some nudibranchs like to dine on. Wrecks are popular for fish such as the ronquil and the large lingcod. Southern California has many oil drilling platforms. Some allow divers to visit. Some of our best visibility can be found here. The rigs provide a habitat for many reef fish such as the rockfish. Fall is time for the Garibaldi to tend his nest, as well as the Cabazon with his four different colored clutches of eggs. In the summer months, you can find sea lions quite frisky. Large clouds of fish swimming through the rigs can be found throughout the year. Southern California has eight channel islands to dive. Giant kelp surrounds much of them. It can grow up to two feet a day to a length of 200 feet. Calico bass hide in the kelp, as do their cousins, the giant black sea bass. In summer, they come to be cleaned by the juvenile sheephead. Sheephead can grow to be a fairly large fish with very specific ideas of territory. The angel shark cruises the sand. The torpedo ray cruises the reef. The Garibaldi can be quite territorial, but in summer it wants tasty eggs found under the lobster's tail. In springtime, the octopus is exceptionally hungry because it's egg laying time. We have fields of colorful and delicate hydro corals to enjoy. Of course, we have lots of macro subjects. Tiny skeleton shrimp, red rock shrimp, the shy zebra goby, the colorful rainbow top snail, 
flatworms, the predatory nabernax, and of course, a large selection of nudibranchs. California is a great place to scuba dive. Come, get wet with us. <laughs>